Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to focus on how to get the software testing job without having any experience or as a fresher. And this is very important uh, video who are looking for jobs, uh, especially it's software testing jobs or who doesn't have any experience or they just uh, passed out of the college, do not know how to get the job, then this video is very useful for them. And the same concept you can adapt for any other uh, software jobs. The, whatever the tips I'm going to provide one by one, please follow it so that uh, you will definitely get into a job as early as possible. Before moving further, if you are visiting uh, Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox so that you can uh, through these videos to enhance your testing skills. So let's move on to understand how to get a job, especially software testing job, without having any experience or as a fresher. So because you are wanted to land into the software testing job, so in order to land into the software testing job, for that you, you should bring some theoretical knowledge on certain topics. So before uh, taking up any job, at least you should know theoretically well so that if somebody gives some opportunity, you can easily take those opportunities and you can deliver it very well. So, so what you have to learn is, first thing is you should learn the complete software development life cycle, which is SDLC. You should know what is requirements, what is design, what is high level design, low level design, coding, testing, maintenance. The complete flow of the development life cycle you should know. And uh, you should also know about uh, there are various uh, different uh, SDLC models available, especially in the testing side. We have waterfall model uh, for testing, VNB model, agile testing model. Please go through. Uh, some of the YouTube videos or go through some of the forums or some of the blogs. Uh, learn completely about all these uh, different uh, life cycles. And as well, you learn testing methodologies, testing techniques to derive the test cases. You learn about different types of testing. Learn whatever it is available, which is completely available free on the internet. We learn about uh, software development life cycle and theoretically about uh, the software testing. Because now the situation is that just if you learn only manual software testing, the chances are uh, chances of getting a job is not so high. So because of that you also take some additional step in learning some of the open source tools which are completely free you can deploy deploy these softwares yourself at your, at your home and you can start uh, practicing it uh, you can just practicing it by visiting so many websites we have we have youtube videos are there go through all those videos and download these softwares and start practicing yourself so once you start practicing uh, some of the open source test tools such as Selenium, Jira, JUnit, Java, if you start uh, going through these tools and programming languages, that would give a confidence in take up uh, some of the automation uh, roles as well. That would give an edge to you to take up additional responsibility apart from the manual testing. Move to the next level. The next level here is what you do is prepare the resume and start attending uh, any walk-ins which is happening uh, wherever it is happening university go and attend those uh, interviews S start distributing your profile to the companies and if they call for an interview or if there is any interview uh, such as walk-in then go and attend it you, uh, you, you may feel that you may not get that job but still that is fine go and attend those walk-ins and get some exposure you also will get to know what are the things they may be asking what is their expectation from you right at least you'll get to know those information for you before uh, moving forward now just if you attend the interviews that doesn't mean you'll get the job that is fine but that would give an confidence as a first step because you learn few theoretical and certain practical things now you are, you are attending and you will get to know 
what they are anticipating from you or what is the expectation from you now the next step is you just don't sit idle at home just by attending few walk-ins what you do is you just uh, start sharing your profile to some of the internship jobs internship programs are available uh, such as uh, freshersworld.com or internshipshala.com these are the some of the portal there are many uh, small small companies they are offering the internship for one month three months on the some of the testing jobs right start applying uh, those roles the, some of the jobs which are uh, you can work from home only you need not go to their offices they just assign some of the testing jobs to you that you can do it uh, just sitting at home only or certain companies they will allow you to go to uh, some companies they will allow you to go to their premises and you can still do their job maybe it is one uh, one to three months it's a good exposure you'll have maybe pick that kind of exposure in one or two companies that would give sufficient uh, knowledge or uh, experiences uh, from these uh, small uh, internship jobs then uh, you update your profile update your profile with this experience and also take their uh, some experience certificate also from them so that this experience will give certain weightage for your profile certain weightage for your profile to look forward to search for the jobs uh, search for the testing jobs so let's proceed further also so once you take up the some of the internship jobs you also do not wait there itself you also look for any freelancing jobs are available from any companies there are many freelancing websites are there such as freelancer.com upwork.com fiverr.com they pay you also whenever you are able to do their job there are many jobs they provide like uh, somewhere they need to test their application web application they wanted to deploy their app and test it on your mobile phone and give their feedback there are many short jobs are there which you can take those jobs and start adapting your testing techniques testing knowledge and start finding the issue for them then start uh, working for them and get that experience as well uh, which you are doing as a short term uh, jobs as a freelancer right once you are able to get hold of that knowledge then you start adding those things also into pro pro profile so that you can sell your profile more efficiently to to the the company because you are not just a fresher out of the college you have done complete uh, understanding of the testing knowledge and also you have done uh, some of the internship jobs plus you also taken some of the freelancers jobs that would give little more weightage for any other fresher who just came out of the college you update the whatever you have done till now also into the profile then if you still don't get the job so next step is what you do is whatever you learn today it could be your manual uh, uh, just theoretical knowledge or some of the hands on with the tools start blogging so what uh, uh, even whatever the work you have taken at the internships whatever the work you have done in that freelancer by keeping all those work in your mind and start blogging or if you would like to or if you are comfortable in creating a youtube videos then start doing youtube videos also that would give a confidence in you and also it will give a exposure to the world that this person is proactive very much proactive in learning new things that would give a confidence to the interviewer you can you can give all the references to the interviewer interviewer uh, that uh, you are not just came out of the college you have done various things uh, in the testing uh, definitely that would help you to land into the testing job it is a matter of 3 to 6 months if you do if you do do diligently whatever the step which i'm telling if you are able to do in 3 to 6 months definitely i, I hope you are, will be landing in a good job and uh, apart from this uh, be active in the facebook group linkedin group especially face facebook is having uh, various uh, testing groups the same way linkedin also there are various testing groups are there register to those uh, groups and start interacting with them so based on your experience whatever the things uh, you know start interacting with them also look for anybody is uh, providing any opportunities there 
so in that way you are networking with the people as uh, one one once one side you are helping uh, by giving your knowledge and as well other side you are also looking for any job opportunities see somebody is going to post in that group or you also uh, send a note to the group saying that you are also looking for the job in that way if you, if anyone is interested to interested in your profile who is having a complete theoretical knowledge and some of the tool knowledge and also worked on uh, some of the internship place as a freelancer or as well as a blogger right if you, if you having the, the detailed knowledge whatever you have done till now and if you share that kind of profile i'm sure uh, you will definitely will end up in the job i am these are the some of the tips which i wanted to propose to you please follow these steps very diligently and start adapting do not uh, lose the faith in you definitely will end up in a good job i hope uh, you like this video and this video is uh, i'm hoping that this video is very useful for you to land land in a good testing job if you enjoyed watching this video please click on like button if you are watching this video for the first time please click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our videos related to software testing will be in your inbox whenever we publish new videos thanks for watching this video bye for now take care